What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to Wednesday, Season 1, Episode 7. The last episode, it was Wednesday's birthday, and Enid and everyone decided to throw her a party. A little surprise party. Excuse me, a little surprise party in a, uh... It was like a crypt, I think. Yeah. Uh, probably somewhere they knew Wednesday would like it to be. However, she did not enjoy it. She respected Enid's abilities to be able to quote like surprise her or trick her or whatever but that was about it she also got her matching scarf things uh not, it wasn't a scarf it was something else like that's why I said thing scarf thing yeah it was like it was weird <laughs> like um it just looked I don't I don't know what it is but it just looked so weird like I don't I understand she's supposed to be fashion, like in the fashion and shit, but like, do people wear that stuff? Does yes. that look you good mean to it, people? Yes. You never see her wear those things. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, people do. Uh, she got her. Uh, she obviously made it black because that's Wednesday's color. That's what she's known for. And um, Being Wednesday's birthday and everything, she decided that that surprise party was not enough. Actually, it was the last thing she wanted. She wanted to do some investigating. So, despite there being a lockdown because of a past action Wednesday did within this episode, I, I believe it was sneaking into the sheriff's car or um, mayor's car. It was the mayor's car. I don't know if that's accurate, but I, it sounds right. That action got her um, in trouble with the mistress leading to the lockdown. However, she wanted to go out still and investigate the, the Gates mansion. Yeah, and just to be clear, I don't I don't know if it's specifically her sneaking into the car and then witnessing the the sheriff the mayor get run over, which is what what happened. I think it might have had more to do with the fact that literally whenever something like this happens, Wednesday is always there. Maybe. But she went and she um, tricked Tyler and Enid into thinking that she's going to go on a date with Tyler for her birthday. And then Enid and her are going to have a girl's night out for her birthday. Tyler for the ride. Enid for just more bodies, I guess. Well, no, Enid Enid was her way of getting out of the school because they were on lockdown. So Enid came up with the excuse that uh, she needed to be locked up because she was going to wolf out or something like that. Oh, yeah. And when Wednesday needed to escort her. Right, that's right. So they go to the mansion and the monster shows up. How, I don't know. I was expecting, like, someone to go inside there but the monster did and because of this because they almost died Tyler got hurt and the sheriff told her to stay away from him Enid now is really pissed off at Wednesday and decided to go stay in someone else's room it seems like she doesn't want to really be her friend she went off on Wednesday and now Wednesday is kind of just by herself so we'll see I guess Uh, if you guys are interested in our full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description below. So with that being said, let's just jump right in. Season 1, Episode 7. I enjoy funerals. I've been what? <laughs> I'll be ready. Damn, she was ready. Still as sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. <laughs> oh, the bee, the bee place, the shack. Those bees are hibernating. They're practically Eugene's children. Mm -hmm. That means do not eat them. Ah, Olga Malakova. Jeez, she had it all. Beauty, brains, and a penchant for necrophilia. What? Uh. 
my god. You think your parents can't keep their hands off each other now? Why, they... I showed up unannounced one night in Gomez's dorm room. Let's just say I wasn't interrupting a pillow fight. <laughs> I don't think Wednesday wants to hear about this shit. <laughs> if you are discovered, I will disown you and collect all the reward money tied to your capture. Damn. Oh my god, dude. Leave the bees alone. <laughs> my novel started out as a twisted fiction. It's crazy how different she looks in everything she's in. Because, like, she looks a lot younger here than she does in you. Really? I think so. No. I can't seem to find my bottle of Silver Moon nail polish. Do you mind if I look around? Was I an annoying distraction? You definitely had some annoying habits. Such as? You giggle when you text, which is a 24-7 addiction. <laughs> as opposed to late night cello solos. You overcommit to clubs and activities and then complain about them nonstop. I'd take that over your obsession with all things creepy and dead. You could gas an entire small village with the amount of perfume you spritz. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Enjoy your solitude Wednesday. It's not solitude if you're still here. <laughs> Does Wednesday actually miss her? I don't know. She was they're gonna being, like surprisingly catty. Well, they're they're gonna end up back together, right? By the end of the yeah, episode, of course. To investigate, you try to kill him so he wouldn't spill your little secret. You think I would hurt you, Gene? Yes. <laughs> if I am the monster, why haven't I killed you? Uh, it's obvious. Because for some reason I cannot fathom or indulge, you seem to like me. Yes. What's to like? Uh, you tell us, you, motherfucker. Exactly, like, man. Like, you're the one who has this unhealthy obsession with her. Yeah, she's been, I, I mean, not to be rude, but she's been a complete bitch to you. And you, <laughs> for whatever reason, just can't get over it. Have you been lurking? Long enough to feel the tension between you two. Yowza! I never knew Uncle Fester had lightning powers. How'd you swing your own single? A former roommate couldn't handle my toxic personality. Mm. <laughs> At least she's self-aware. Oh, don't worry. Just a tiny spark. Barely perceptible <laughs> to the average eye, but I noticed. Well, you're average, right? Uncle Fester? <laughs> hey! How do you get in there? Well, Lobo has its perks. You get to live by your own rules, do whatever you want. Just look at me! <laughs> yeah, don't you want to strive to be like him? The fuck is that? I picked it up on my way out of town. You know me. I like to travel incognito. What? Come on, let's roll! <laughs> the fucking ears. Yeah. So, like, not only did he steal someone's vehicle, but he's, like, in order to go incognito, he stole a vehicle that sticks out wherever you go. Yeah. Oh, therapist. What did you so urgently need to discuss Wednesday? I can wait. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some homework I need to finish. That looked weird, right? Yeah. Hide lays dormant until unleashed by a traumatic event or unlock their. Don't. I fucking knew it. God uh, damn it. Gross. Well, apparently, a hide needs to be unlocked by someone. It's master. Oh, shit. Uh oh. <laughs> oh fuck. That is there. What I say? Huh. Why did he leave? Seriously? Is he is he wanted to He might what? be. <laughs> I don't miss her. Friends are a liability and can be exploited. That makes them weaknesses. Your job is to guard that diary while I'm gone. I'll be back as soon as I can. He misses her. Uh huh. They form some sort of a weird bond, so what? No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before? <laughs> you set up for a movie, looks like. 
Oh, she likes it. Prepare to be horrified. Oh no. Leave the word for someone else. Legally blonde. <laughs> that was torture. Thank you. <laughs> I will ignore you, stomp on your heart, and always put my needs and interests first. It's true. She did in the last episode. Things are going too well. I'm starting to think he's the hide. I am not gonna even ask what this is, but I never saw the two of you here. You got it? Unbelievable. Come on. Yeah, well, you totally killed the mood for your son, man. So. Yeah, dude. Well, at least he's just kind of like, eh, whatever about it. It's not being a complete dick. Does it have a heartbeat? <laughs> it has to live somehow, right? Oh, come on, thing. Is she gonna cry? Come on, they can't actually kill off thing. No. If you can hear me. If you die, I will kill you. What? <laughs> Promise that whoever did this to you will suffer. And it will be slow. Long. Come with me. I have information about Mayor Walker's murder. No, she doesn't. He was trying to track down someone. Laurel Gates. Looks like he started right after Robin's day. He must have recognized her there. Oh. I know you're Laurel Gates. You've come back to Jericho to seek your revenge. You know what? I don't have time to deal with your delusional fantasies. I have a pa way to talk to a patient, huh? <laughs> Jay, you need help. More help than I can give you. Who are you calling, Xavier? Judge Reynolds. Huh. I'm going to recommend you stay in a juvenile psychiatric facility for observation. That sounds kind of extreme. Yeah. <laughs> Very like. <laughs> Irrational behavior from a psychiatrist. I wasn't aware that Wednesday had a session today. She didn't, and her behavior was completely irrational. What is going on now? What the fuck? Ah, uh, shit. Okay, well, well maybe, never mind. Yeah, we're wrong. <laughs> She's dead. Or is she just in the hospital, like Eugene? Because apparently no one dies. Now the monster has uh, sympathy? Like, come on. <laughs> Finish the damn job. Fucking failure. She's gone. Oh. I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why didn't he take Eugene, then? So, as much as I hate to say it, if it wasn't the therapist, the only one I could think of is Thornhill. Oh, shit. <laughs> she got a knife. How long have you been seeing Kinbot? Have you? What am I saying? Of course you have. You've been spying on me, right? Motherfucker, you drew her playing cello. What is Rones and Haler doing in your shed? Are Eugene's glasses? Whoa, whoa. He has no idea how they got there. Well, theoretically, if if he is a hide, like Oh yeah, he wouldn't know. Going right? yeah, going based off of the Jekyll and Hyde story, he would have no idea. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean he is. Like, this could still be a red herring. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Appreciate the help, Adam. You! You framed me! I should have let Rowan kill you. 
yeah, that sounds real innocent. <laughs> yeah, let's say. <laughs> I, I mean, I do, for the record, I don't think he's the hide. Probably not. But you know, after that comment, just let him take the fall. <laughs> Nook was great. I just decided I needed a few more boundaries. Skip the tape. Don't tell me Wednesday Adams is mellowing out. Never. <laughs> this sudden change of heart. Because we work. We shouldn't, but we do. It's like some sort of weird friendship anomaly. Everything you said about me. It's true. Thanks, Eddie. Missed you. I missed him too. How about dead thing? <laughs> <laughs> missed that. We're closed. Then you should lock your doors. There's some real sick people out there. Oh, shit. Uh, what? Well, fuck. What? <laughs> the first boy I kissed would turn out to be a psychotic, serial killing monster. I guess I have a type. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was episode number seven of Wednesday. So, looks like we were both wrong. I thought it was Thornhill. You thought it was the therapist. And it seems as though it might be Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the thing is, Wednesday did discover, though, that it's not just the monster that they're looking for it's also the master yeah now obviously tyler is not cannot be laurel gates and i'm assuming that the therapist isn't either since you know everything just happened right now yeah but that doesn't mean that thornhill isn't true again thornhill is a normie like that just happens to be mixed in with all the outcasts for no for like no known reason that's true. And like you said, the hides were kicked out of Nevermore and could be roaming around the normies. Mm -hmm. So it's totally possible. Got to see Uncle Fester, which I thought was a lot of fun. He saved things life. More so Wednesday's threat, I think. <laughs> saved his <laughs> life. Yeah. But he did a lot of the work. Um, and... Enid is back, which is pretty cool. I like their dynamic. Obviously, one's a girly girl, the other's the devil. <laughs> I think it's a great combination of friends. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a real, it's an odd couple. That's. And I know Tyler being the monster revealed as the monster or the hide is probably the biggest thing. But also, Xavier was arrested. So that I think is also a really big thing. And I wonder how she feels now because it's basically been proven that he's innocent. Yeah, I mean it proves that she framed him. Uh the I will say this, I really hope that Tyler being proven to be the actual monster doesn't just open up the Wednesday Xavier relationship path oh God, in this show. That. Seriously, he's such a whiny baby. Like I, I, I don't, I don't like them together. The, no. the, the, he's just kind of annoying. And I thought it was so rich and fucking just amazing how he was like, "Oh, you're stalking me. And you won't just leave me alone already." Like, well, are you fucking kidding me? She has the legitimate questions because you are suspicious, motherfucker. And you, instead of just answering the questions because you know you're innocent, you want to sit here and try to act like, "Oh, you, you just won't leave me alone." When you forced her to ask you to the dance you keep following her around and like are you are you serious that shit bothered me i don't know <laughs> uh the therapist is dead eugene is still alive which is really annoying <laughs> I, I don't know why that bothers me so much <laughs> but yeah the next episode is the finale so i can't wait to see where that goes 
I'm hoping we do get to see the Adams family kind of reunion, like reunite again. It would only make sense. Hopefully, like, would it be the end of the school year? You know? I don't think it's been long enough, so. Maybe. I don't know. But can't wait. Next is the finale. Should be interesting, to say the least. The sheriff. I want to see his reaction to his son being the hide. That'd be crazy. He's been, quote, looking for him because, I mean, let's face it, he hasn't been. I was going to say earlier, but I didn't. I loved how he was over there investigating the, the um, bike being stolen, right? Doing his job. Yet there's this monster on the loose, and, like, Wednesday has to fucking, like, legit. Do, she has to do all the work. Yeah, do everything for him to get off his ass. Oh, but let's go check out this armed robbery. That, get out of here. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I do think his um, reaction to Tyler being the hide is going to be interesting because he's been living with him. Well, it's going to be denial, for one. Maybe. But we'll see if he reveals himself to him. Who knows? Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reactions. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. And uh, if you're interested in full-length reactions, you can check us out on Patreon. The link is down in the description below. So with that being said, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.